Now let's understand the relationship between AP and MP. AP is the average product, MP is marginal product. Now if you take a close look, the first thing that you will notice is AP and MP start from the same point. When one labor is employed, both are 100. So they are starting from the same point. Now as MP rises, AP also rises. Though AP does not rise in proportion of MP, we can see that when MP is rising, AP is also rising. But when this situation is existing, that is when MP is rising, we can see that MP is more than AP. At both these levels, MP is more than AP. However, when we move ahead, we see that we arrive at a level when MP and AP both are equal. You can see in the schedule that when fourth labor is employed, AP is also 110, MP is also 110. So both are equal. And after this point, we see that MP starts to fall. MP generally starts to fall. And when MP is falling, AP also falls. And when this case is existing, we can see that AP is higher than MP now. At all levels, sorry. At all levels, AP is greater than MP now. So, in this chart, this is the level This chart can be divided into three parts. I have divided the chart into three parts and denoted it with different ink colors. This is the third part. This is the first part. And this is the second. In the first part, we can see that both AP and MP start off from the same point. Second, AP and MP both are arising. They both arise. But the thing is, when AP and MP are rising, MP is above AP. MP is greater than AP. At the second level, when both are equal. Now what happens is, after a point, there comes a stage where both become equal. So that is the stage where you can see that the AP is maximum. In all these numbers that you have in the AP column, you can see that AP is maximum when it is equal to MP. And finally, in the third stage, where both are falling, MP and AP both are falling. Here you can see that AP is greater than MP. Average product is higher than marginal product. So we can say that they are related in three ways. First, 
when ap rises mp is greater than ap which is denoted by the first stage second when mp is sorry when ap is maximum mp equals to ap you can see that ap is maximum when ap and mp are equal and finally when ap falls mp is less than ap or ap is greater than mp this can also be explained with the help of a graph now here we have a graph which shows two curves both start off from the same point ap and mp both start off from the same point but what happens is mp rises higher than ap the important thing to note here is both are rising both mp and ap are rising the only difference is mp rises higher than ap so our first condition is when both are rising mp is greater than ap which can be seen in the graph our next condition is when ap this is my first condition this is my second condition and this is my third condition so in the first condition we can see both are rising but mp is higher than ap at the second stage both meet both are equal and at this stage ap is maximum this curve is maximum it is rising 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 and meeting mp at this point and after this point it starts to fall so ap is maximum where ap and mp are equal and finally the third condition wherein both are falling ap and mp both are falling what happens at this stage is now mp becomes less than ap mp becomes less than ap students generally get very confused understanding the relation between mp and ap so i'll just give you one tip here always assume the curve mp to be a magnet mp starts with m assume it to be a magnet now what is the property of the magnet it attracts other things towards itself so now consider in this graph mp to be a magnet so what it is doing it is pulling ap towards itself it is attracting ap towards itself i'll just draw it here just consider mp to be a magnet now this mp becomes a magnet and it attracts ap towards itself so when mp is rising ap also rises but it is below mp and thus mp is able to attract us but what happens after this point after the second condition is met 
AP becomes higher than MP. MP goes below AP. Now again, consider it to be a magnet. So now what MP will do is MP will again pull the AP down towards itself. So this is one of the easiest methods to remember the relation between them. They both start off from the same point. They both tend to rise, but, F, but MP tends to rise higher than AP. And what it does is it tends to attract AP towards itself. After a point, both meet. And after that point, MP goes below AP. Again, it acts as a magnet. Since it is falling, it also attracts AP. It also pulls AP towards itself and thus AP also starts falling.